All right, everyone. All right, all right, all right. It is time, it is time, it is time. It is time for morning word and worship. Have you included God in your business? Coming out of Ecclesi- Ecclesiastics 9 and 10. I just want to know, where does God come in your business? Does he come first, second, or third? Okay. So, I'm your host, Sharice Johnson-Moore. And we will be having a morning word and worship moment right now. Come on, let's get busy. Have you included God in your business? Ecclesiastic 9, 10. All right, you know, we got to know where God, where we have God placed in our business. Does he come first, second, or third? All right, come on, let's get busy. Hello, and welcome to Morning Word and Worship, the program where the word is boldly, truthfully told, and worship and song is high in praise that sets you free to inspire, invigorate, and motivate you in everyday living. Come join us for Morning Word and Worship every Sunday at 9 a.m. here where God abides. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Sharice Johnson Moore, and I am your hope builder, lifting you out of your sorrow by guiding you to see the Christ within through scripture and practical applications. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How is everyone doing? What's up? What's up? What's up? How are y'all doing this morning? How are y'all doing this morning? How are y'all doing this morning? It is an honor and a privilege to come today before you in a capacity of word of the Lord. And in our capacity for the word of the Lord, it says, have you included? Gone in your business. I'm coming out of uh, Ecclesiastics. Ecclesiastics. Okay, give me a minute, everyone. I'm so. Okay, hold up. Okay, CIS. I had to spell it right. Um, I didn't have time to do mine. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been so busy, right? And sometimes your business can be a thing of maybe doing another job, maybe um, incorporating some new things into your business, and you get overwhelmed by it. And sometimes it can be. Um, a little bit of distractions and things like that. So I'm coming out of Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. This one for morning word and worship. And it says, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge nor wisdom in the grave, whether thou goest. Okay. And I'm going to read that again. I'm going to read that again because that, that's a good one. It, it, it's really good. It says Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. It reads, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might, for there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whether thou goest. Okay. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, we come to you for this word. 
to teach us, to to mold us, to to change our mindsets, to open our hearts and our minds to understand your word that you give us this day, that you teach us this day, that we learn something new every day with you by our side. Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you for your words. May you add a blessing to the reading of your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray, amen, amen, and amen. Okay. I was, I, I was, I'm, I'm going to be transparent this morning. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> and <clears throat> I picked this topic. Because I'm an entrepreneur, right? I'm, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur and I have my hands and I, 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 I dabble. I, I am involved in a lot of things. And my one of my involvements is to research, find, and like I, I go out and find the guests for my shows. I go and find the guests, the speakers for my 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 programs, my programs, all the programs I have. Um and and um I, I kind of find it maybe it's just me. Let me just say I'm I'm gonna speak for me, okay? That God give you a gift of writing of um, putting together business plans, of getting, you know, you have these skills. God is giving you the skills and these things that you have learned over the years. Okay, some experience, some experience, some experience. I'm going to say that country. Experience, some experience, right? And, um, <clears throat> and I have learned a lot from other business owners. Okay, I'm not, I, I like to glean from others what they could teach me, right? But do you have you included God in your business? Okay, that that means have you got have you come to God? Have you have you chosen God? Have you put God in the equation of putting Him first in your business and asking permission for things that you want to do? Has He given you an answer, or have you just jumped off the ledge, jumped off the jumped off and just jumped into some deep water, didn't know how deep it was? <clears throat> I asked this question because a lot of Business owners out here are claiming to be business owners, but it seems like they have no guidance. No guidance of uh, do they have a team or do they consult somebody or do you have a mentor or do you have, a, you know, and God needs to be one of your mentors. i tell you why. Because a lot of stuff, y'all, a lot of stuff people doing, God ain't give you permission to do that stuff. Okay. I'm going to get like Alton Walker on Instagram. God didn't give you permission to do that. <laughs> I, I love him. I love him. I, you know, um, and I follow him vigorously. <clears throat> and my thing is, is that some people are just going about just creating a business and throwing stuff together and they just putting it out there and then they think they're going to make all this money and they haven't talked to God first. <clears throat> um, my first, first, first thing I did, it, 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 first thing that I got an inkling that God wanted me to do something, I was sitting at my mother's funeral. And in the course of me sitting at her funeral, I realized God was speaking to me. I was sitting on the pew. My brother was speaking. And he, God spoke to me and said, it is time to write your book. Okay? It's time to write your book. <clears throat> so, God, I knew the skills. I had to type six, five words a minute. <clears throat> okay? And, excuse me, but I got a little cold. And when he spoke to me, I thought I was hearing things at first. 
I thought I was hearing things like, okay, anybody else hear that? You know what I'm saying? But God, get, God spoke to me and told me what to do. And sometimes when we, when, when we, God speaks to us in many ways. <clears throat> he speaks to us through people, places, and things. Okay? And sometimes it's an experience that God has, has you reevaluate, you know, put a different perspective on what you're doing or how you're going about it and things like that. And that was my first bit, my first thing that God told me to do was to write my book, which is coming to love yourself. <clears throat> so I write the book. And you know, it's a lot of trial and error. Okay. But are you have you put God, have you included God in your business? Have you consulted him? Have you even talked to your pastor or talked to your priest or or whoever your clergy person is that you go to, you know, have you consulted them? Have you consulted, have you, you know, have you really put any thought into what you're going to do for your business? Because it was a thing of getting everything together and you're getting everything together. And I had to ask God for a lot of guidance when it came to what I was doing. And I was like, okay, well, what you, God, what you, what you want me to do now? What you want me to do? I was, I was constantly talking to God about what I do in my business. I constantly talk to him. I don't just jump off a ledge and say, okay, here you go. Make it, uh, throw some stuff against the wall and see if it stick. Okay. Um, and I've noticed that with a lot of, a, a lot of business owners, they're not consulting God because they the way they come at you is like here throw I'm gonna throw this at you you supposed to buy it okay uh, you know um there's a certain way to do some things in decent in their order as they say in church and you want to put a, a plan together for your marketing advertising okay. Everything God does has a plan. Everything God does has a plan, a sequence to it, and we need to learn how to how to work with God and work in our in our businesses. Okay, I don't. I'm not putting anybody down. I'm just that's that. I mean, I felt. I mean, I, I when I I ain't gonna say and lie. Yes, I've done stuff to throw it on the wall, see if it stick. Okay. When I realized that wouldn't work, when that didn't work for me, I said, okay, I must have stepped out of God's boundaries in order for that. Not that's not working for me. You know, that that wasn't working for me. Um, my coffee in the morning, of course. And um I and a lot of things in your business, you're gonna have, you have to readjust. Readjust and recalibrate some things that you're doing. And God shows you the where when it comes to how you present an offer, how you present yourself to other investors, how you present your business plan, plan, how you you know all these things play a part in God's plan for your business. And it says right there in the Word, it says, "Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, whatever you find to do." Whether you make t-shirts, whether you're your your typist, a virtual assistant, a, 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 a publisher, a you I could go on and on and on about stuff that we could do with our hands, right? A carpenter, or you know, I see the men on Instagram doing all their stuff, you know, with their with the woodwork and how they put the maple on it and epoxy and all that. That's interesting to me. Um, and, and God gave them a plan. God gave them an idea. God started off with an idea for you to do something. And, um, no, God gave a plan. And, and, and sometimes we as people don't want to go with the plan or the vision God gave us. And we want to go off and do our own thing. One of our stuff ain't working. Okay. All right. Recently, like I said. Whatever you do up with your hands, whatever you plan, whatever you're doing, whether you're typing, virtual assistant, 
a um, marketing strategist, publisher, whatever that is, put a plan behind that. Include God into your business, cause your business will prosper much so much so much more when you put God into it. It might not seem like it's working, and, and sometimes I'm gonna tell y'all something. Tell y'all something. I've been doing this for a minute. This show, my other two, other three programs. No, it has not been hunky dory. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. I have had to work very hard to get where I have, what I have. And I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, uh, um, faith without works is dead. I'm gonna tell you that. That's that's the term. I'm saying. I'm gonna just put that there. Faith without works is dead, because you know. Um, it, it requires you to do some work. It requires you to make your t-shirts. Requires you to make your your banners. Requires you to make get up in the morning. Put you start on a routine. Get yourself together. Put God first. Say prayer in the morning, and then say, God, what do you want me to work on today? That's what I start off with. I give him his prayer time. I get I read that scripture. I might work on my daily devotional. Um, you know. But like I said, as of recently, I've had God has given me a, a whole new adjustment recently. God has given me a whole new adjustment and a new plan along with the adjustment. I was comfortable in the old stuff I was doing. I was comfortable doing something the way I was doing it. And God said, it's time to move. That's why I gave you the, the word from the other week. Uh, when God said move, it's time to move. Move, get up. Time to get up and move. I was complacent. I was comfortable. I was just... You know, got comfortable and got and got lazy, okay. And sometimes, you know, and now that I've had to do some different, some things different, I I take a whole new different perspective about my business. God says, "Have you included God in your business?" Yeah, I've included God in my business, but now God is trying to take me to another level, and um, I, I'm ready. I'm ready, and this time, you know, it's gonna be me. me it was God. It was God from the beginning. And it's going to be gone to the end, to the day I die. Because I have learned in my relationship with God, God showed me a lot of things in my personal and in my business life that you have to come and you have to understand that everybody's not for you. Did I just say that? Yes, I did. Everyone is not for you. Everybody is for you as long as they're getting what they want out of you one they like you being complacent because they don't want you to go nowhere they don't they don't want you to they don't some people don't want you to go to another level they want you to stay right where they at so they can keep an eye on you and control you three is sometimes me have to move you from one place to another to get you to see look this is your laziness and this your laziness is costing you time and money God can show you in different ways when it comes to your business, what you are doing and what you are not doing and what's going to work and what is not going to work. So, have you included God in your business? Have you included him in things? Have you have you thought about some things that you need to change in your business that because you, you're not looking to God, stuff is not happening right? You know, it's, it's not happening. It's not it's not. It's not working fast enough. It's not because we're not putting God in it. It's just some stuff we throwing against the wall and hope we hope it stick. Not gonna work like that. Ecclesiastes, what you work with your hands. That's also with your mind, your thought, your thought process. How do you carry out the plans that God has for this business? How do you have a business plan or do you just say, all right, we'll just go ahead and do this this week? And um, um, I might do it and I might not. And I think about it and then you procrastinate and you, you put it off and you and you don't do something. And, and then you be wondering, why I ain't got no money? I'm speaking for me. So don't y'all, you know, don't y'all get all, you know, all been on shape. Think I'm talk no, I'm talking about me. And I'm talking, I'm talking to you about some stuff I'm experiencing. 
Well, I would put something off and I was procrastinating and be like, okay, well, I need to send this person this email. And I'd be like, okay, I'm going to send this person this email. I'm going to send it. And I would send an email and then I wouldn't hear nothing back from the person. And that would discourage me. But then God says, that person was not for you. See, a lot of things we got to we gotta listen to God about. We see a person, we want to interview them, we want to have them on our show, we want to do this, this, I mean, and we want to do all these things, right? And we, but, but when you reach out to the people, it's not you, it's them. It's not me, it's them. I learned that. If they're not ready to go to another level, God telling you that person not for you and you for you to interview. That person not ready for you to, to they're not serious about what they're doing. See, a lot of God show you, God shows you in your business what is going on. If you open your eyes and see. Okay, I made this t-shirt. Maybe that ain't, oh, okay, I put it out there, send it this. Then it's like, mm, I ain't getting no replies from it. Then sometimes you put something out there and it get a whole lot of, okay, all right, is you ready for it? Is you ready to put it, is you ready to do that? You know, and then it's a process. It's a process of doing something. Like um, somebody, somebody gave me this advice. They said, you know, you need to revamp your, you need to revamp your uh, website. I said, oh, what's wrong with it? First, I took offense to that. Then three more, two more other people after that first person told me you need to revamp your website. They said, you don't have none of the services listed on your website that you're offering to the people that you're talking about. You don't have an offer for the advertising. You don't have a your own place where they can go and fill up. You don't have these things on your website in order for the people to really take you seriously about what you're offering. You don't have none of it on your website. And I'm like, yes, I do. They be like, no, that's not, that's, that's not, that's not going to suffice. You need to have a box. You need to have it as a service and you need to have listed as a service. Not just because it's there, it's there and everybody got to go searching around to find stuff on your website. Okay. And so, like I said, and now I'm in the process for the new year. I'm going to revamp my whole website. Um, I might just go ahead and make me another whole new website, just whole new website. You know, because the one everybody's like, well, I, we come. Everybody's coming to the website. They're coming to the website, but they're not buying anything. They not. I don't see him that. They're not buying nothing on my website. They're not buying my books and they're buying the t-shirts. They're not buying no cup mugs. They're not not buying none of that stuff. Okay, no baskets, no nothing. And I'm like, why they don't? Because what they see does not match what you what you telling everybody about. Somebody gave me an evaluation, so I said, okay, three three people told me the same exact thing. So that's three people that I could get that gave me confirmation of God God out. I didn't, how can I say this? Sometimes we make decisions in our business based on because we need to improve something. But then we don't consult people before we change it and we go to the wrong people to change it and then we got to turn around and change it anyway because that person was, you didn't consult God about that decision. And that's why you got to repeat it two or three times. <laughs> Um, I had, um, you know, and that's, that's the, that's, that's because you didn't consult. You didn't consult God about that. And that's why you got to keep repeating, doing stuff two, three times to get it right. So have you included God in your business? Okay. As you can see where I'm at. I've done a change. I'm visiting my sister for a little while in Detroit, Michigan. This is her laboratory. This is my sister's, oh, uh, she makes these t-shirts. She makes the job, she makes the uh, graduation shirts. She makes, she does arts and crafts. And you can see it's a cricket sitting behind me. Yeah, I'm putting in my, I'm putting, I'm putting in work with my sister, right? Here. Her name is Felicia, uh, Felicia Cozy Corners. And uh, she can she can do your copy mug. She can do uh, simulation. Uh, you know, 
the 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 coffee mugs and the t-shirts and the crafts and arts and things like that. Okay, so I want y'all to go to Felicia Cozy Corners for your latest uh, uh her latest video where she makes a nice t-shirt in her on her uh press machine, her press pressing machine. So I want to just say, y'all, whatever you do, do it with vigor, do it with heart, do it with everything that you have that you can do. Do it to the best of your abilities. Do it where you don't, you be all stressed out and stuff, you know. You got to be all stressed out and everything, you know. So um, I just want y'all to know that, you know, it is my honor and a privilege to bring you morning word and worship and have you included God in your business. Also, reach out to Felicia's Code to Corners for your uh, your promotional product, uh, promotional products. She makes promotional products. She makes uh, this shirt. She makes us. Uh, coffee mugs she makes t-shirts things of that nature and um you know you always need a promotional product whether you're a ministry or you are a um you are a little mom and pop store a mom and pop you know thing starting off and you know and we always need some promotional products whether they coffee mugs t-shirts banners something you know and uh felicia cozy corners is into that I want to say thank you for coming in for morning word and worship. And I want to let, I want to, under, I want y'all to have an understanding that you can donate to this uh, broadcast, Sharif Johnson Moore's ministry. And you can go through PayPal at paypal.me backslash S N J M O O R E, Sharif Johnson Moore. Or you can go to Cash App, dollar sign Sharif Johnson Moore to donate to this ministry. We will greatly appreciate your um, your efforts and it will go to a worthy cause, which is uh, the homeless. Um, I have a foundation called Lena's, Clo Lena's Closet, Lena's Closet, Lena's Closet. And it helps, uh, it helps the uh, homeless people and it helps them with food, clothing and shelter. It also helps them, um, you know, find services and things like that and possibly get jobs. And, you know, and, and, and you know, it helps out a lot when you help someone in need. And, yes, I do help other people in need, especially the homeless women and children and, and the men. You know, they need coats for the winter. They need socks. They need underwear. They need shoes. They need bras. They need, you know, clothes. So can you, I would love for you to partner with me uh, when it comes to Lena's Closet, Lena's Love Closet, Lena's Closet, and it is a foundation for helping the homeless. You can donate through Cash App, dollar sign, Sharice Johnson Moore, or you can go through PayPal, paypal.me backslash S-N-J-M-O-O-R-E. And we would greatly appreciate your donations for Lena's Love Closet. It is for helping out the homeless. Okay, food, clothing, and shelter for those in need. I want to thank everyone for coming in and showing their sales, you know, coming in and participating uh, with, Lena, with with today's Sharice Johnson Moore's ministry. And our morning word and worship episode is, have you included God in your business? Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. What do you do with your hands? Depend, do with your hands now. Because do it now because you can't do it when you did. Okay. All right. I love y'all. Bye, babies. I will talk to y'all later. Okay. I, I just want y'all to have a blessed, blessed day. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Hello, and welcome to Morning Word and Worship, the program where the word is boldly, truthfully told, and worship and song is high in praise that sets you free to inspire, invigorate, and motivate you in everyday living. Come join us for Morning Word and Worship every Sunday at 9 a.m. here where God abides.
Hello to all my entrepreneurs. My name is Sharice Johnson Moore, and welcome to Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast. Do you have products and services that you want to tell the world about? Well, I have an offer for you. Did you know that when you make a 60-minute voiceover ad and place it in podcasts, that it increases your business awareness by 50% in the marketplace? Voiceover ads aren't that expensive. They range from $15 to $25. It all depends on where you place your ad in the podcast. So come on in and place your ad on Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast and tell the world what you have to offer. You can reach me at I am Sharice at ShariceNJohnsonMoore.com or 724-570-1153 for further details. Come on, let's tell the world what you are made of. Hello to all my entrepreneurs. My name is Sharice Johnson Moore. I am the owner CEO of LBM TV. It is a streaming channel that can be located on the C1 Media Network Smart TV app. This app can be located on Apple TV, Roku TV, Amazon Fire Stick, Android TV, and Google TV. We have advertising spots available for businesses that want to advertise their products or services on our channel. We have an audience of 4.25 million viewers daily reaching 70 plus countries. We have advertising packages to fit your company's needs. We would love for you to join the LBM family. You can reach us through our email address, lbmtvmedia at gmail.com or call us at 724-570-1153 for further details. Talk to you soon and let's advertise, advertise and tell the world what you are made of. Authors, 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 have you written a book? Are you an experienced author or a new author? Well, I've got news for you. Authors Excerpt Sunday is the perfect start to growing your audience awareness with the public. Authors Excerpt Sunday has interview spots available in many forms. Live broadcasting done on all social media outlets, television, and podcasting. We would love to help you tell the world about your book. You can reach us at I am Sharice at ShariceNJohnsonMoore.com or 724-570-1153 for further details. And let's tell the world about your book. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to say thank you to all of my audience listeners for listening to Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. You know, you take out your precious time to listen to Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast, and I greatly appreciate all that you do and all the support that you give this podcast want to thank you again for listening to Morning Word and Worship, and I hope my words, uh, you know, that God gives to me touches your heart in so many ways, and I thank you for supporting the podcast, and I thank you for supporting this episode of Morning Word and Worship. I greatly appreciate everything that you do, okay? So, I'll see you next Sunday on Morning Word and Worship at 9 a.m. live. We do it live. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and, um, yeah, that's it. You know, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn, okay? And, um, also, you can also catch the, um, episodes on my streaming channel, channel LBMTV, 
um, which can be found on the C1 Media Network Smart TV app. And I pray that you enjoy the segments. Thank you so much, and y'all have a blessed day. Bye, babies.